So high yielding cotton needs nitrogen. And if you want to hit the big yields, the nitrogen needs to go to the plant. If the plant misses it, it ends up somewhere else. So it can end up in the soil and it could be stable there, but more often than not, the surplus then gets recycled and reused and it can be lost out of the field and away from the plant. Some of the loss can be into the atmosphere as gas. Some of the losses can be in with the tailwater as, as it leaves the field. And some of the uh, other losses can be via deep drainage and it leaves the soil and goes below the rooting depth of the crop. Above about 250 units of N per hectare, we can see an exponential increase in the loss of uh, nitrogen as N2O, which is nitrous oxide. And on alkaline earth, you can expect losses in the dinitrogen form of about 40 times that of N2O. We've also been looking at runoff of nitrogen using surface applications of urea up front. And we see about 35 kilos of N per hectare going to the tail drain. The irrigation water supplies about 20 kilos of nitrogen to the tail water. And so in total, 55 kilograms of nitrogen transit through the field and out the other side. In cotton production, we're pretty good because we recycle our water. So it's not being lost downstream and affecting other locations, but when it sits in the storages, it can be transformed and lost into the atmosphere. It can also be sequestered onto the banks of the storages and into the drains of themselves. You don't want it sitting around too long in the storages because these transformation processes can be quite rapid. Some incubation studies where we've taken water back to the lab and run it at 25 degrees, say about 25% is gone in the first three to six hours and 50 up to you know, 10 hours later. The bacteria see the nitrogen and just go, yeah, hey, let's use it. On average, we see about four kilograms per hectare per year coming out of the cotton crop, which again, is not a lot, but this is very variable. As we came out of the millennium drought, we had deep cracking to the subsoil, and then we had lots of movement of water to the subsoil, which carried the nitrogen and nitrate to depth. So some areas of soil are not very permeable versus other areas which are highly permeable. So you have this mosaic of loss in the paddock. We don't know how deep the nitrogen goes in the profile because we've only sampled at 1.2 metres, but it leaves the field. You just need to do a balance sheet. You know what goes in, you know what's in the crop and the seed, and you know what's in the soil at the end of the season, and you should be able to calculate what's lost. If you do find that you've got a big loss and you think it's going with the irrigation water, you can get test strips, you can test the water, it'll tell you, you know, there's lots of nitrate being moved and you can make your management change, then you can monitor what's happening and see if it's effective. If there's surplus nitrogen in the soil, it will move and it will move quickly. So depending where you are, you'll have to fine tune your systems to make sure the plant gets the end at the right time to achieve the right yields, to make sure we don't see losses out and off the field. <music>